Mr. Speaker, sir, and to my honorable colleagues from both sides of the aisle, I rise to oppose this motion vehemently because this motion does two things, Mr. Speaker, sir. The motion. Uh, uh, what's your point of order? Mr. Speaker, sir. Okay, try to keep your mask on. The motion proposed by the majority whip does two things to this country. It divides this country into two. And it pushes more resources to those people who have always had resources. Mr. Speaker, sir, the challenge we have in this country is that sometimes people think we are ignorant, but we are not. Earlier on, Mr. Speaker, sir, the majority, or rather the chairperson of the Finance Committee, read his report, and he gave reasons as to why he was proposing to deviate from the parameters which were proposed by the Commission of Revenue Allocation. Mr. Speaker, sir, what this does is that when you increase health to 20%, you go against every principle. And even you go against the Ministry of Health Policy. Mr. Speaker, sir, their budget declaration was very clear. That health, the amount that should be given is 15%, 17% minimum. But that, even if it's a minimum, by increasing it to 3%, Mr. Speaker, sir, what happens is that uh, you don't come in and tell us, how did you get, what statistics did you use? Because that takes money from counties like Narok. And it will be shameful for me to go back to Narok and tell the people of Narok that as your senator, I've sat there and I've witnessed a few people divide this country and also kill the dream of the president and also Raila Molo Dinga in uniting this country as one. Mr. Speaker, sir, what the 3% does, it benefits three counties. And that is the counties that has more households. That is Kirinyaga, that is uh, Kakamega, and Bungoma. While our counties, where people are sparsely distributed, they lose money. Mr. Speaker, sir, if you tell me now, today, that you want to postpone this problem for the next two years or one year, you are being indecisive. You would still have this problem. And you are being selfish. 